What's going on, Jerome? So your general manager, Kwesi Dofamensa, has definitely been making over the Vikings rooster this offseason, uh, letting go of Kirk Cousins and Daniel Hunter and bringing in a slew of new free agents. And the question is, eh, how can the Vikings do all this with the dead cap hits? Don't worry about it. That's right, man. Baby, don't worry about a thing. Everything with the cap is going to be all right. That's right. So uh, even though the Vikings, as a right, meow, are projected to have $6.8 million in cap space, uh, I, I don't think that's going to hold. Uh, as the uh, restructure slash pay cut with Harrison Smith is not officially in yet, uh, they can still do things with Brian O'Neill, Justin Frank, and Jefferson, right? And also some of the details of some of the other contracts aren't in either. So uh, the Vikings uh, will certainly be good to go. Now, a lot of people have brought up, hey, why the Vikings using void years like Van Ginkle, Jones, and Grenard, uh, which we'll get into their contracts here in a second, but it's not that big of a deal. Number one, the uh, Vikings just have to weather the storm this year, 50 million plus in dead cap hits uh, because of Kirko, uh, sorry, Kurto, uh, Danilo, people get so mad, uh, as, as well as Marcus Davenport. Uh, plus they have 100 plus million in cap space 2025. Uh, and also the, they're not on the hook for like some raggedy veteran contracts. So they're, they're going to be good to go. And also the void years are, are not for large amounts. Uh, so uh, full details are in uh, for John Grenard as well as Aaron a Jones, uh, their, their contracts. And Grenard, so it's interesting with Gennard. So four years, 76 million bucks, uh, eight, uh, 19 million per year average, which is 15th uh, in the league for edge rushers. For comparison, uh, Daniel is currently clocked in at number five uh, at 24 and a half a year, just behind Miles Garrett. And now uh, what it is, is, I mean, most contracts are, even if they're three, four years, are essentially one-year deals. Uh, Grenard's interesting because he's got two years of fully guaranteed. So a little bit of something, something there. The Vikings obviously believe in the man on the edge. Uh, $42 million total guaranteed, $38 million guaranteed at signing. A $16.5 million signing bonus, which is prorated over five years. Uh, he's got $19 million guaranteed in 2024, $19 million guaranteed in 2025, as well as $4 million uh, injury guaranteed in 2026, uh, which becomes fully guaranteed on the third day of the new league year in 2025. So so basically, this is a, a scaled down version of the Kurt Cousins Falcons contract where we got two years fully guaranteed as well as a little something something in 2026. So that's interesting. Uh, two void years added in 2028, 2029. Uh, it's a proration of the signing bonus over one year, uh, but they added. Even though there's no uh, uh, void money in 2029, uh, they likely just kept that open in case they do have to restructure down the line. Now, the thing about void years is if uh, when the void year comes up, if the player does not have a new contract in place with his current team that gave the void year contract, all of those uh, dead cap hits come home to roost. That's what happened with Kurt. That's what happened with Daniil. That's what happened with uh, with uh, Marcus Davenport. So that's how that worked. Now, if they are extended, uh, those void year dead cap hits stay prorated. So. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, with uh, Aaron Jones, uh, it's a one-year deal uh, for $7 million, fully guaranteed, making him the 11th highest paid running back. Now, I understand the irony uh, that the Vikings refused to pay Dalvin Cook $10.4 million uh, last season uh, when he was headed into his age 28 year and Aaron Jones getting $7 million uh, at his age 30 year. I understand that. But Aaron Jones... Even though Aaron Jones had some health issues, like Aaron Jones is pretty clearly fresher uh, in, in terms of running back durability. Uh, he's 11th highest paid running back in the league, uh, $4 million signing bonus, four void years added. So now, uh, you know, with the void years, Jones is definitely a lot more spread out than Grenard is. Uh, uh, $3.2 million in voids. And if you look, the Vikings have uh, 10.7 million in voids uh, with Jones, uh, Grenard, and Van Ginkle uh, this year. TBD on what, what's going to happen with uh, Shaq Griffin uh, and his one-year six million dollar deal. Uh, but overall, I mean, of course, you know the cap is the cap, and the Vikings work things out. And almost, almost like it, this was the plan where you get all those veteran contracts off of the books and you're going to be free and clear uh, next year as you're paying the toll this season. But it hasn't precluded the Vikings from being very active in free agency and Flores uh, getting out and going and getting his guys. Same thing with Kevin O'Connell. So uh, I, hats off to Rob Brzezinski. Hats off to Kwesi yet again uh, for uh, finessing the cap. And also, you got all the room in the world to give Jefferson the contract that he needs. And yes, it is going to be $35, $36 million a year. If Jerry Judy's getting 19. Justin Jefferson's getting 35-36. Don't care.
as some are commend, as well as uh, Derrissaw's uh, due for a contract as well. But uh, your thoughts are thoughts. Uh, take a look at the full contract details for new Vikings edge rusher Jonathan Gennard, as well as running back Aaron Jones. Uh, let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Want to support the work? Put a little something in the Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.